there are platforms that before any man in life takes off or lands in destiny, you must build. You must construct it and listen. God is not the constructor of these platforms. Man is. God is not the constructor of these platforms. Man is the constructor of this platform. It is solely the duty of man to build a platform upon which dominion is possible. Okay. In Genesis 1.26, the Lord said, come, there was an assemblage, there was a meeting. There was an important meeting in heaven. The Elohim God said, come, let us make man in our own image. The Father was summoning the PCC, the Parousia Council of Heaven. He was summoning the inner caucus of heaven. He was summoning the Son and the Holy Spirit. He said, come, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over everything that has been created. In verse 28 of that scripture, the Bible says, and the Lord God, the Lord God, the Lord God, 27, made man. He created both male and female in his image. And then the Lord God blessed them. And then he said, be fruitful, multiply, subdue the earth, replenish and have dominion. The, the dominion realm is the last level of the blessing. Pay attention. The dominion realm is the last stage, is the climax of the blessing. Before dominion happens, a system that takes on dominion happens first. There is a difference between success and significance. Let me give you an instance. This church, we are growing to become successful. We are not significant yet. Significance means it must have passed through years. Years must have proven it. Like the Catholic church is a significant assembly. They have become successful and they have built a system that is able to transfer this success from generation unto generation. Now, what God wants you to do in the dominion realm is to build success, to build systems, success systems that are able to take on that success and transfer it even to generations to come. Because you are fruitful. At this point, people are already celebrating you. You multiply. Wow, people are celebrating you. Of course, you, you begin to subdue. The word subdue is take control. Because when you multiply your fruit, you need to control it. Why a lot of businesses are having problems? Listen, it's because at the point of diversification, somebody gets, start making maybe 3 million naira in a particular business. He goes to diversify into another business. Start making money and then he has maybe six kinds of shops and then you see that man start going down because as you are growing as you are expanding in your diversification there is another part you have to pay attention to because the diversification and the growth place is the growth period is what is called multiplication there must also be what is called subduing it that is controlling success any success you don't control becomes disastrous to the successful. So you must build a control system. That is when you begin to inspect what you expect. So why is it that businesses are not successful once they have moved from one business onto another? Because they have not built a system that checkmates what they are doing. So God is saying be fruitful, multiply, subdue. That word subdue is control and then replenish. Replenish in the course of success. You are going to have a lot of systems.